Hey guys, so do you remember this? This is Revlon's first cream eyeshadows. I can't believe they still make this. I saw this at the store the other day and I was like, hmm, I wonder. I've been so nostalgic lately revisiting things that I haven't had in a long time, but it's been like, I would say 16 years since I've had this quad and this is the one called not just nudes because as you know I've been really into nude makeup lately now I do have some of Revlon's newer cream eyeshadows that come in the single jars those are very nice this is their original formula like I said I can't believe they still make this this is very hard to open you're gonna need something to pry it open with it has a mirror inside and you get four cream eyeshadows and it looks used because I did some swatches yesterday um, just to get an idea on the colors. Uh, I did want to mention I am filming this video on July 31st so tomorrow is August 1st obviously and tomorrow I will be throwing out my stuff that is cream gel and liquids that are a year old so all this stuff is gonna hit the trash tomorrow along with a lot of things that you see listed in the description box every single day the elf squeeze me lip balm last time for this the hard candy share hydrating uh, primer last time I'll be wearing this the profusion feel good skin perfecter I love this I'm gonna miss this so much but you know the only place I can get this as is at a Walmart that's very very far from me so it's just not practical for me to drive that far to get this when there are other good foundations on the market but I am gonna miss that and I can't order from Profusion's website because of their shipping policy because where I live is not the same address as my um, my billing address and my shipping address are not the same long story so I can't order from their website because of their shipping policy and I think that's it yeah those so those products you won't be seeing those in the description box anymore so today is the last day for that and today is also the last day for the highlighter that I'm gonna use um, you know what what I want to do is, even though the video is about the Revlon cream eyeshadows, I do want to do my blush and highlighter on camera because it is the last time I'm going to use that highlighter that I'm going to use. And that, I think, I can now get at my local Walmart because they changed the Profusion um, display at my local Walmart. So I think I did see the highlighter there the other day. But anyways... Um, I wanted to mention something about the brow product that I've been wearing the last few days. This is the e.l.f. Lock-On Liner and Brow Cream in the shade Medium Brown. This, you guys, if you ever try this on your brows, you have to be so, so careful when you put your brush in there because this is the most pigmented brow cream I have ever used. So you, I just wanted to warn you if you ever try this that put your brush in there as lightly as you possibly can because if you don't you won't be able to blend it out on your brows yeah this is super pigmented uh, it's gonna last forever or probably be thrown out before um, I could ever use a whole jar of that even if I did use it every day but yeah I want to use my NARS uh, set that I got of the minis um, it's the NARS Orgasm Powder Blush with the NARS Orgasm Multiple or Multi-Stick, uh, which can be used in a number of different ways. So I'm going to do the Patrick Ta Blush Method. So I already did a whole video about this on my channel, but what the Patrick Ta uh, Blush Method is, he does his blush the opposite of what we've always been taught to do, but he is a very famous makeup artist, and I guess he must have experimented with this one day, and he liked the effect, so that's what we're going to do. And um, 
what he does. Now I gotta get a brush. Yeah, what he does is the powder first and then the cream. So this is NARS Orgasm, the miniature travel size version, and this is my Essence blush brush. So I'm just gonna do one tap because it's NARS, so it's pretty pigmented. And I'm just gonna put that on one tap, okay. Make sure it's blended and placed where you want it to go. And then we're gonna go into the multiple. And I'm gonna use a makeup sponge. This is uh, Real Techniques, the one that has the latex on the bottom of it. And I'm just gonna press it into that cream stick, just one press. And then I'm gonna tap it over the powder and then do it again on the other side. Okay, so I like a subtle blush, so to me, that's perfect. You might want more, so just, you know, do more taps, but I like a subtle blush, so that is NARS Orgasm layered. And then this Profusion Ray of Sunshine Illuminating Liquid Highlighter in the shade Sunkissed. Just going to put a little bit of this on my cheekbones uh, very lightly. Three little dots because I'm not really into a strong highlighter these days either. So we're just doing a tiny bit of that. But yeah, I think you can get this now at pretty much any Walmart that has a profusion display, which I think they all do, don't they? Uh, I could be wrong. But this is expiring tomorrow also. So all the products, other products that I have on, all the products that I have on will be listed in the description box. But yeah, let's get into this eyeshadow palette. I'm very curious. Now, you have a light highlighter type shade, you have a matte neutral shade, and then you have two shimmer shades. One is light and one is dark. So what we're going to do first is go into the matte brown. And of course, I'm going to use my Revlon Jelly Makeup Blender. And it's funny because I was on Instagram early this early this morning, or actually the middle of the night. Sometimes if I can't sleep, I just go on my phone and start looking at Instagram pictures. And um, they were teasing this on their Instagram as if it hadn't even launched yet. They're like coming soon. And I, I left a comment on that post and I was like, uh, I already did two, two, two YouTube videos on this Revlon and I love it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think you're going to start seeing a lot of people on YouTube and TikTok talking about this. And I don't know why it launched in the store before they even started promoting it. But anyways, I'm going to go into the matte shadow and I'm going to go in the crease and outer corner and the outer part of my lid. So far no problems because I remember this eyeshadow being a bit difficult to work with and I remember it being like too creamy like it wouldn't set but um, I'm a lot older now my skin is a lot drier so this could be a great product for me now and I don't know if the formula has changed or if this is the original formula but it doesn't feel too greasy or anything okay so then I take a baby wipe and I just wipe the product off and go right into the next color. So I'm going to do the lighter 
brown shimmer and I'm going to put that on my lid. Oh, that goes on very smooth. Okay, and I'm going to wipe that off the Jelly Makeup Blender. And I'm going to go into the darkest brown at the beginning of the palette. And we're going in the, oh, that's dark. That's a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. Um, we're going to go right into the outer part of this look here. But it blends great with this um, blender. So I'm going to try to get way on the edge here. Now this is, you know, pretty good size and it's round, so you can't get as much precision, but I haven't had any problems in the past. I'm just going to wipe the edge there with my finger. All right, this color is quite dark. And when I blended it, I blended it out too far. So now I'm going to have to um, clean that up a bit where I don't want it. So yeah, this might not be um, the I don't know if it's the blender or the formula, but I'm going to have to take a Q-tip and some micellar water. And just take that on the very edge. And I also am going to take it up a little bit because I don't want that dark, dark color on my brow bone. Okay. All right. Fixed. Now... What I want to do is go into that light, light shade and put that on my brow bone and it's like a shimmery gold. And I also am going to put some on my inner corner. Now this next part, I am going to use a detail brush because I obviously can't use the makeup blender because it's too wide, but I'm going to go into that dark brown. Wow, that's so dark, you guys. I just wasn't expecting that kind of pigmentation from that. And I'm dragging that along my lower lash line. And you know what? It's almost like too dark. Um, I'm going to wipe the excess off my brush on that makeup wipe. And then blend it a bit more. Okay. I wasn't expecting that shade to be so dark, even though I did a swatch yesterday. I don't remember it being that dark. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe off the, the makeup blender again. And because that shade is so dark, I think I'm going to 
dip into the matte brown and blend a little bit more of that into the crease right over that dark color. And the outer corner. I think maybe it would be a good idea to take a makeup brush and just barely touch that dark shade. And use a brush to get more of a precise placement. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to play catch up with the other eye and um, curl my lashes, put my mascara on, and we're going to come back and do the lips. Okay, so I finished the eyes, and I just wanted to say that um, I don't recommend this palette. Um, there's a reason why they changed their formula, and their newer cream eyeshadow formula, the Color Stay ones, it, these are excellent, and it is definitely a better quality, superior formula. It's also a lot more expensive than that than this is, but um, yeah, I have um, black currant, uh, cherry blossom, and espresso in that formula, and these are fantastic. So yeah, don't don't bother with this. Those were very difficult to blend and hard to work with. So full disclosure there, uh, but it was fun to try. So now we're gonna do the lips, and I'm gonna use this. Um, Too Faced Lady Bold Lip Liner in the shade Badass, and I am going to line my lips. It's just a nude. And I'm also going to fill in. And the reason why I'm lining and filling in is because I want to use that NARS multiple orgasm on my lips too. Because um, this is a multiple, so you can use it however you want. So let me grab a lip brush. So this is a Moda lip brush that came in like a, a set. And I'm going to put some on the brush because see this is so wide that if you tried to apply it from that it would just go all over the place it's always good to have at least one lip brush even if you don't use it that often Oh, that's pretty. I like that. I like that. I don't like having to use a brush. It, you know, it's just like an extra step, but it's worth it. Okay, so that is the finished look. And when I did the second eye, I like the way the second eye came out a lot better. So there's a learning curve to this. But yeah, it's too much trouble. Um, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Mist to set this because this is their older cream shadow formula, so it's probably going to need to be set, especially with something like this. This is hardcore. Um, all right, so I'm going to shake it because it probably would work best if I did that. So here we go. Got to hold my breath for this because it's, it's like putting hairspray on your face. And it only takes three seconds to dry, so you really don't need to fan your face, but I don't want to take any chances. 
Okay, so that is the finished look. And yeah, I would say to pass on uh, this palette. And if you want to try the Revlon Cream Eyeshadows, go for the Color Stay ones. These are excellent, excellent. Almost a perfect cream formula. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.